All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In the Game. And what a great day in the markets today. We take a look. We see Bitcoin in the middle five, you know, 53,000 ranges, up 3.99% on the day. Let's call it 4%. But this is in perfect alignment with the narratives we've been talking about. There are some big events in the gaming space, big launches, big liquidity events that I think could really, for lack of a better word, send this market uh, upward from here. And we've been bullish throughout this time period on this show, but I'm going to go over those narratives. I'm going to go over the tokens that are benefiting the most, some that I think are still maybe undervalued, as well as some key updates this week that you need to be on the lookout for. So be ready for an action-packed show. Without further ado, let's get in the game. And first and foremost, before we start taking a look across the market, be sure to drop down, hit that like button and subscribe. And let me know down below which tokens in your portfolio that we've been talking about here on In The Game are performing the best. Obviously, there are so many tokens printing in this market. So like and subscribe. We're trying to hit that 100,000 subscriber mark here. Help us out and smash that subscribe button. And a quick shout out to our sponsors here on In The Game. Amazing sponsors from Vulcan Forge, Ultra, Redato, Game Starter, Dreams Quest, 96.com, NordVPN. We have Uncaged. We have Africa Rare, as well as My Lovely Planet, which is one of our newest sponsors here on the show. And whenever we look at this project, I mean, there's a lot of impressive metrics. They're backed by some of the biggest leaders of the gaming industry. They won the International Prize for Unity for Humanity from Unity. They are also selected and powered as a part of Ubisoft's entrepreneur lab there's over 30,000 players that love their mobile games you can get this on both app store and on the google play store and they have 20,000 monthly active users with a 42 minute average engagement time per daily active users there's about 5,000 a month in recurring revenue that's not just the one-time revenue that's coming through the door a lot of activity and on top of this the my lovely planet initiative they have planted 70,000 trees in Madagascar. So there is a real like philanthropic, I think that's how you say the word, uh, but a, a real philanthropy angle here with My Lovely Planet. And actually down below, they're doing their token presale. If you want to jump into this gaming project with a lot of hype, a lot of activity within the ecosystem, you can click buy now on the website right here. It'll take you to a login, just click register. And in this box here for invitation code, you can use the code HUSTLE for the next six days. So guys, be sure to jump in, check out the project. It does look very strong, a lot of strong metrics. And in this market where gaming tokens are moving the hardest, uh, it could be a good opportunity to shout out to our newest sponsor, My Lovely Planet. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of the show today. We have Bitcoin absolutely ripping. A 4% day on the move for a 50,000 Bitcoin. That's pretty wild. So combined with this week coming up, we have major liquidity hitting the market. I'll talk about each of these catalysts here in just a second. Huge token launches. We have games making crucial announcements, new mainnet launches. How TF, are you not bullish out there watching in the game, watching all the banter shows? I mean, like the catalysts in this market from the ETF to the having to all these things going on in the middle, these huge launches from Pixel Mavia. And then the things we have this week, uh, Whale Swoosh did a good job kind of breaking these down. We have the Mon presale. This is a Pixel Mon token. Um, as we see here, the Mon presale is live today. People like Dingaling, one of the biggest whales in the space, he went ahead and aped $500,000 into the uh, Pixel Mon Mon presale. So I, hey, I think he's going to do pretty well on that. But uh, we do see the whales are very active in this market. So that was pretty, uh, that was pretty awesome to see just the conviction there uh, across uh, the Mon presale. We have the Magic Eden ETH marketplace launch coming up. In, in collaboration with top NFT projects. And if you've been looking, Magic Eden is now second in volume behind Blur and daily market share. And I mean, RIP to OpenSea. Last I saw, they were 8% of the NFT market uh, you know, share, which is wild. The, the fall from grace that they had ever since Blur came into the space. February 29th, we have the Portal Coin launch and generational wealth for investors and farmers. And he's definitely not wrong here. I mean, Whale hit that one on the head. People faded this, but the people that farmed this, invested, had conviction, this is going to be 
the biggest token launch of Q1, which is crazy to say because like I'm a huge fan of Mavia. I think Pixel is going to crush it even. And the FTVs have been very impressive around two and three billion dollar fully diluted market caps. I do think Portal is going to crush both of those as far as valuation goes. You know, whether we'll see how that sustains long term, but man, I'm very bullish on um, Portal. And, you know, full disclosure, I am an early investor there. And then at the end of the month, we have the Blast mainnet unlock and launch. So, what happens here, all the bridgers to Blast could potentially take back their liquidity into the ETH markets, which could be bullish for NFTs. It could be bullish for ETH. We see ETH right now. Uh, what is ETH sitting at? Yeah, 3150. Very nice move over the week, about a 7% weekly move and a 40% weekly move on Ethereum. Uh, but when you look across the market, that liquidity could come back into the markets, could be bullish for NFTs, Ethereum, all other altcoins underneath it, as well as the blast narrative, which we'll take a look at here later in the show. So let's get into some tokens because it's been a really fun week and a really fun 24 hours over here in the gaming side of things. We see Mix Mob taking a nice bounce. It's up 28% on the 24 hours. Amino, one of our old sponsors here, very bullish on what they're doing. They did something cool. They unlocked 50% of the tokens that pre-sale investors had vested so they could sell it if they wanted to, but they got they had a uh, well, they, they released it at a 50% penalty. And actually, a lot of them did end up selling. That got a lot of the fluff, the VC money out of the project. So looking forward to see what they can do there. ScarQuest, we mentioned this one last week. This is one that's definitely on my radar. Uh, they have some ecosystem changes in the works right now. But look at this chart movement. 16% on the day, 50% on the week, 100% on the month. So it's great to see that type of movement. I got some big alpha today on Wombat. Um, this is one probably has to be up there in one of my top low cap gaming coins at this $14 million market cap. And if we look at the weekly here, up 10%, but on the day, a nice 15% move. Box bet on the move again, which we love to see, up 11% today and 11% on the week. And how about playable games? I love the bounce that this has provided. If we look here on the monthly, it got all the way down here. Like this one was beaten to shreds uh, whenever you look at 0 0.0037. I mean, we're getting close to like 2x territory that it hit here. It's kind of taken a retrace, but sustainable price action here at this $26 million market cap. I do like what they're doing over there at Playable. And um, I mean, I'm stacking up the nodes now. So like when we took this position, we 10 x So you scale a little bit of profits out. I'm stacking up the nodes and I still think the nodes are the play in this ecosystem. When this token 10 Xs, you're going to be getting those rewards at a 10 X rate. Your ROI on the nodes is going to be much faster. So that's definitely one I'm looking at. Otherwise, Altura just broke eight cents. So this is one, um, you know, we all are bullish here on in the game on Altura. Altura just partnered up with Superverse and I can tell you little alpha they're not done. They have a lot of stuff coming up in the works, a lot of things that they're working on behind the scenes that I think are really going to impress people. Some other giants in the industry are really starting to take notice of what Altura can provide for their platform, which I'm just, I, I love because I've been a big time long-term supporter of Altura. But let's take a look at the weekly winners. Where Now, this is where it gets you know fun. First of all, shout out to Ultra, and we'll talk about this later in the show. Uh, when we get into our sponsors, because Ultra, like uh, I saw an analogy or, you know, a reference, not an analogy, I guess, by technical perspectives or literal perspectives. But someone in my uh, Discord said Ultra was down to the bottom of the ninth inning, two outs, no runners on. And then they decided to hit a home run, right? 60% over this week when it really hadn't moved in this market so far. And we'll talk about some of Ultra's key updates here at the end of the show. The big winner this week, though, across the timeline, across everything has been crown third time games uh, crowned by third time games. This is photo finish live. Now we've talked about this in coordinates with Honeyland, my two favorite, absolute favorite Solana altcoins in the space. And both are doing well. I mean, uh, Honeyland's taking a 20% bounce this week. We see Crown up 60% this week. But the differentiator is that monthly number here, 186%. So, this was the big catalyst this week. First of all, the in-game economy has gotten a lot more lucrative, which has driven the price up of the assets. No question about it. Like, and, and big alpha here, 
go check the PFPs because they yield crown daily. If you missed an entry or anything like that, the PFPs, you can stake them. They actually earn crown daily. I would say that's the alpha right now because chasing this pump might not be the best thing you can do. There's a lot of crown to be yielded by these PFPs. But uh, this tweet went out this week about, did you know that NBC Sports will use photo finish game for their Kentucky Derby simulation? Now, I don't watch horse racing, but the one thing I'm interested in every single year is the Derby, right? The lore around it, the celebrities, just the feeling, the class of the Kentucky Derby. And then you see here at the top left, photo finish live. So millions and millions and millions of people will at least have this on their screen during the Kentucky Derby, which is amazing. And, and this is why they're at the official game of the Kentucky Derby leading into the Derby. I see crown being a huge play. And uh, I mean, Rand and I kind of mentioned that on the portfolio show last Friday, it was in perfect time because this thing's been absolutely ripping and they just crossed over $15 million dollars in horse sales. So very bullish ecosystem right now within the photo finish live ecosystem. And then if we go look a little down the list, Citus, this is one, their launch pad is changing, flipping the narrative on its head for me personally, because I would have expected that the governance token, but it does make sense that the governance was going to be the staked token. And then that the people who stake had the governance to judge which launches but it's actually flipped. So Citus will be the token that gets staked to be uh, on the launch pad to be able to qualify to launch, you know, be able to invest in these launches on the Citus pad. And they also just partnered up with Linea. So that was a very big partnership for Citus in my opinion, but stake Citus, you get access to the launch pad. And then if I can go down here and find the comparative token, I know a lot of people have asked me this week, um, you know, if I'm still as bullish on Senate, Senate is the token you hold to govern the launches. So you can say yes or no and vote which projects you want to have on the launch pad. It's still four and a half X undervalued what Citus is. But the fact that now there will be a supply shock of Citus on top of the amount of burns that they're doing. They're, they're pretty much on even playing fields. If not, maybe Citus has even overlapped my conviction in Senate at this point. So that's definitely something to um, to keep in mind at this point in time. And then a few uh, like news pieces in the space. And then we'll get into some things that I think are still pretty cheap in the space. Mavia landowners can now actually borrow and lend against their NFTs. So this is big. And I'm just excited about the in-game economy going live here. I'm also excited about their L2 announcement. So I will be keeping my eyes on this. I have some theories of where they're going to go. I don't know where for sure, but um, this will be interesting. I, I personally, I don't think it's going to be Ronin. I don't think it's going to be IMX. That only leaves a few options. Now, I... I don't want to speculate, and I actually don't know which way they're going to go yet. So uh, that is something I will be on the lookout for. And then let's talk about the narrative here at the very end of Whale Swoosh's tweet. Blast mainnet launch plus unlock, okay? So I'm just going to go through a few projects that I have my eyes on for this. First and foremost, Captain and Company, Cap Games. This one we gave you guys. It was a token uh, here. Let's find it on the watch list here. Cap Games, where are you at? They won the Blast Big Bang competition. Uh, they're up 84% this month. Shout out to anyone who caught this move on the monthly. And then on top of that, I do think Blast is about to just be this huge narrative. Um, so, you know, right now, Cap Games is the largest Blast gaming distributor and publisher for big rewards. And, and in communication with the team, they want to go hard on this Blast narrative. A lot of big whales and big brains in the space think that Blast could become the biggest Ethereum L2. And so what projects should you be looking at? Number one, I think Cap Games and Captain and Company, you have to be taking a look at at this point in time. Number two, and this is in no order, just a few projects that I'm looking at. YOLO Games. Now, they dropped this tweet today. Um, this is one of the stronger gaming projects, in my opinion, that I've seen on Blast. Um, if you have bridged funds to Blast, we'll have juicy rewards waiting for you on February 29th, right off the bat. Snapshot soon. Are you ready to Blast off? So that is definitely one I am excited for. I have to shoot this a retweet because 
I, I want to get this. I, I, I want I want some of this blast narrative to really take off. So let's get some people involved there. And that's why I'm sharing the alpha, of course. Zap on blasts. Uh, this one is very cool. It's a tech stack overall. Helps projects build from like the labs. It has launches like Launchpad, and it also has different drops. So it everything you need is it a token launch protocol from helping projects launch to getting investors in with fair launches. This is going to be the first of its kind on Blast. They have pretty good social sentiment here, about 38,000 on uh, on Twitter. And then last but not least, a fully on-chain game lost, launching day one of the Blast mainnet. This one's probably the most hyped for the Blast narrative on NFTs and gaming. Now, we did a giveaway at, in my NFT community for this project. I think it's going to crush. So keep your eyes on these four projects. Captain and Company, YOLO Games. We have uh, Zap on Blast as well as Blast Runners. So those are the ones that I definitely will be keeping my eyes on. But right now, it's a, it's a hectic market, guys. And like personally speaking... I'm sitting in my bags. I'm not worried about pivoting positions, getting into a new altcoin. I have a lot of money about to hit the market with Portal, Aether Games, stuff like Arcade to Earn, when Block Lords comes out, EC. A bunch of my early investments are uh, going to be materializing soon. And in my opinion, I'm not really looking to ape into something on the market currently unless it is just completely beaten to shreds. I'm still a big fan on Dead Prez. It's a GambleFi project. I think that it's going to you know, bounce back pretty hard once this vesting period's over with. Based has taken a hit this week. Their V4 launch is right around the corner. I think based at a 14 million market cap, this one's a no-brainer. And then stake your base. And you get a rev share every single week. I've been staking. I've been uh, getting pretty solid rewards there. So Dead Prez and Based Champs also. Um, I'm hosting a Twitter space with the team from Champs this uh, Tuesday, 1 p.m. So if you want to come learn a little more about the project, but such a loyal community, fully diluted, a lot of game activity, DAUs, transactions, all that good stuff. So uh, really, really lively ecosystem there. Wag Me Games down 20% this week, I think is a really good accumulation as well. Um, and then if you miss the initial Creo engine run, it, it's getting pretty cheap at this moment in time. And then a couple others, I think Virtue Poker, 5 million market cap, Magnum Trading, 1.7 million market cap. Those are very, very good accumulations in my opinion. And that's about where I would draw the line because a 7% downward move isn't really, and also I'd say winner protocol. W winner is definitely getting beat up this week. This is one that I would maybe take a look at. It is bouncing today, uh, but that is another one in the GambleFi sector. A lot of GambleFi projects just haven't had their run yet. So based, dead prez, uh, stuff like uh, I just mentioned with winner protocol, I think those are very, very good plays alongside some of these other gaming projects. But like I said, I'm not really actively investing in new projects currently. I'm looking to just let my bear market conviction materialize. So if you are getting into new projects, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll give you my thoughts on a couple of altcoins uh, that you guys are looking at as well. Um, and Domi Online. I think if you're in the Avalanche ecosystem, this is one you just accumulate, set, and forget. This is going to be a killer in the full-blown bull market. And I think... Um, I think it's actually a no-brainer as well. So if there's one project that has been in the green that I'd still be buying, probably would be something like a Domi Online in this market and the infrastructure. Like, I genuinely don't think you can have enough of these four or five uh, between XAI, Ron, IMX, between Beam, between Super, like I think that that and Avalanche, those pro like you bundle those together. I don't think you can have quite enough of those projects in your portfolio. And then the low cap infrastructure play being potentially Altura. So that's kind of my insights on the market right now. Let's go through a few sponsor updates before we hop out of here. Ultra is revamping their platform and I got some big alpha today as well. They, they have a lot in the pipeline with Project Citadel, the upcoming exclusive sports game. And this app right here, this looks way more sleek and modern than what they have out there right now. And like I said, the price action is speaking for itself. 62% this month. It's very nice to see that big you know, boost, jolt in price activity. So um, very bullish on what's going on over at Ultra. And it's been a pleasure working with them here on this show. Jamie and the Vulcan team, 
are really cooking right now. And, you know, they've built Vulcan from the first blockchain MMO into this huge world. One of only 15, pro 15 games in this ecosystem now, and including a layer one launch pad and a DEX. Launchpad being the one that I think is really going to take off the hardest. All right. And if we go look, let's go find PYR here on the um, on the price. I mean, just steady growth, 27% this month on a market cap like this and a project most people do overlook. We take a look at this all chart, right? At these all-time highs, we'll see if we can get back to that level. I genuinely think it's not impossible given this market cap. Uh, but when we see here, we got up to 850. We were accumulating hard in these periods around like, you know, two, 280. We got down to 280 here. Like these were the accumulation levels. We've been riding this up for quite a while. I am such a big fan of what's going on at Vulcan Forged. And I think the launch pad is going to be that key unlock. Price action's actually been looking pretty good as well. Um, Africa Rare. By the time the next show comes out, we'll be less than a day before the Ubu token does launch. You can join the allow list on their site or in the link down below in the description. This is just such a unique project. You know, you can actually have virtual real estate in Africa. It does give back to Africa as well as unique cultural experiences, retail opportunities, partnerships. You know, they're already working with Singularity Group, um, Abundance 360, Innovation Africa, CyberKongs, and many more. So definitely check this out. And if you're interested, once again, My Lovely Planet and Africa Rare are both very much philanthropy driven projects. So if you're looking to support a cause, it's like I said, action pack show, we're rolling through this quickly. Ran always tells me that he has to watch people on two X speed. He'll have to go 0.5 X speed for me. That's what he tells me because I'm just rapid on, on how we get through this stuff. But guys like the video, subscribe, be sure to help us get to that hundred thousand subscriber mark. We're relentlessly pushing towards that hundred K mark. And I have to say, if you're not bullish in this market after everything that's gone on, what you need to remember is Peter and Paul next door still aren't talking about crypto. My mom's not talking about crypto. My brother, my sister, my friends, my high school friends, college friends. If you ask the common person, they would have no clue that Bitcoin's above $50,000. All they maybe have seen is that there's an ETF, which to them doesn't really mean anything. So just understand, and it's a cliche thing to say, but you're still early. The retail won't care until we're above all-time highs. We're only 14K away from that, which is crazy to think. Six months ago, I would not have thought that we would be in the 50 plus thousand ranges, but here we are. We took advantage of this bear market. So I hope you are winning with me here on In The Game. And I am as bullish as ever. So guys, like and subscribe. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. As always, play well, my friends.